Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, it's all about Daisy. So, so excited. there's been some changes. There have been some changes on the day by day farm. Sophie, tell me what's changed. She likes the car. So she doesn't puke in the car anymore. Instant wanting to go in the car. She never used to ever try and climb in the car. Now the minute that we get in the car, actually all the dogs are excited. They're like, I know we're I going to that out. place. I let her out time to go straight to the car. Uh, also, there's another change. What else happened? So you guys know Daisy needs special food because she's a Dalmatian. I'll try and explain it. But she needed special she needs special food. And they stopped making that food so we couldn't get it. So we had to switch foods. I don't even know if she can handle it. But as soon as we switch foods, suddenly she is on fire. Ellie, get over here. Suddenly she's on fire. She wants to be everywhere. Like she goes everywhere with us now. It's crazy. I can't even believe it. Where is your dog? There she is. <laughs> anyway, oops, my hair looks crooked. Anyway, it's been amazing. Like she's turned into like all the time we've owned her. She's always been kind of like quiet, not energetic. I mean, she has energy and she runs and lots of times during the day she's crazy, but not like a Dalmatian is supposed to be. Switch the food, instant change. So the other thing that happened that is interesting about Daisy is that yesterday we took them to the new farm. Last night we went back and we took her to the new farm and we took them for a walk around some of the horse paddocks, like three of the horse paddocks. And we walked all the way through the horse paddocks, like so way down at the back and then up and around all over. I wish I had been videoing. It was hilarious. Did the dogs like it? Yes. The dogs were obsessed. And I didn't have to worry about Daisy running off because yeah. it's all fenced in. Yeah, it's all fenced in. Like, if a goat can't get out of it, a dog is not going to get out of it. That place is like Fort Knox for, for animals. It's so funny because I've always felt like the horse, the dogs running down to the barn, running around this property was good. Like, I thought it was a lot of effort for them, a lot to keep them in shape. When we went to that house, what happened? They ran around every field. They ran around all those fields. We came home and they all dropped. I swear they're just recovering now. Like it was a lot of running for them, a lot. Totally different experience. Like I feel like when we moved to this farm, it was just us trying to figure out if we wanted horses, if we could handle horses. You guys know I posted the videos of us moving here and it was a lot like, hopefully this works out. Hopefully we love it. <laughs> and we did love it and this whole new experience is a is a whole new adventure we do have a move day like a day that we're moving everything but we're going there to, the horses will be the last to move and because of that we have to set like because we have to set things up for them the girls have been so overzealous they have like all their stuff they're like every day they're like let's move some of my stuff so we pack up some of their stuff and we I take it over gone. yeah sophie's room is almost finished gabby's room we'll show you when we get there today what we've accomplished since we last spoke <laughs> But we're going over today and we're gonna, um, I'm gonna try and work on the horse barn and getting the horse field ready for the horses. This house is looking empty, <laughs> empty-ish. All right, it looks the same. <laughs> we still have a lot of moving to do. My room was like, the first day I took all my stuff. Got my toys and stuff and the second day I brought my shelf. Yeah, like Sophie, wait, like all that's here basically is a bed and a dresser, huh? And my TV. Yeah, when we move, it's gonna be an easy day. You know how people complain, well, you know how Laura complains about doing hay in the heat? It is like a heat wave, like a hundred degrees heat wave. And we're moving. <laughs> so the next time you complain about something, think about what could be worse, because yeah. It's fun though, this is fun. Like we're excited about this. Um, and we're not like moving all of our whole house over. We're just moving little things each day while we go over. Like we're going over to do some work in the uh, horse barn today. Like I'm gonna work in the horse barn. So uh, the other thing that I wanted to say before we go, cause we're ready to go, Sam said he's gonna wait for Gabby. My dog loves this house. Yeah, not the dogs house. are gonna love that house. But um, the other thing I wanted to say is that when we moved to this house, it was January and I had a broken, shattered pelvis from falling off my horse. So I was in a wheelchair, I was in a walker, like I couldn't even hardly walk yet when we moved into this house. It was the first time I've ever not really had much control. I was like drugged up on painkillers. And Sam and the girls and all of our family did it all. And at this time, I'm feeling awesome. And Sam is days. Sam is a couple of months away from a knee replacement. We actually waited to do the knee replacement so that we could move. 
and so I'm kind of carrying the brunt. The girls and I are carrying the brunt, and then soon we'll have like a lot of more people come to help us when we fully move over. But yeah, like it's amazing how life turns around. So when you're having to help somebody do something and you're not super happy about it, or you're carrying the brunt of a workload and you're not super happy about it, think about one day somebody might have to carry the brunt of the workload for you. And I'm happy to help and do the most of it with Sam because he's done that for me. But even if he hadn't done it for me, I'd be happy to do it because I know that he can't do it. But anyway, let's go and see what we've gotten up to at the other house. So one thing that I haven't showed you that needs a lot of cleaning is this little hut that's on the property. Uh, it needs like a lot of cleaning. <laughs> Looks like there were eggs in here at one time. But anyways, basically it's a clothesline. I love hanging our clothes out. In fact, I hang them out at our house now. But it's a clothesline. So it's got this little table in here. Put your basket there and then you hang up your clothes. So I've been collecting clothes hangers um, and I'm gonna use this. So it's all kind of closed in. It's got a door, it's got windows. It's still breezy, but it will keep you out of like the, the cold wind. And I'm gonna use it to hang up our clothes. The girls both like their clothes hand dried, a lot of their clothes, like shirts, especially Gabby. She doesn't, she likes baggy clothes. She doesn't like them to be shrunk. So there's this. Well, that's great. We met our neighbors. We met our neighbors. How? At Ruby, come. The dog saw them walking on the road. Poof, they ran chasing them and barking at them. Yep, so that's that's fun time. You cannot do that. That was bad. No, Ellie in the closet. <laughs> Ellie in the closet. Ellie. You cannot make a dog go in the closet. No, Molly, come here. Molly goes in the Oh my gosh, we have to leave the door open Ellie. so that we can bring some stuff into yeah. this room. So we put the baby gate up, but the big dogs just jump it. We put it up a little bit so that the big dogs won't jump it and Ellie just goes I underneath it. I want to meet those neighbors again. <laughs> Cause my dog's just like, ooh, this is a nice place. Yeah, your dog loved it. Yeah. They have three cats over there too. If she saw one of those, she'd be gone forever. Yeah, so Daisy, it was all Daisy that led them astray. Well, no, cause all the other dogs were in the front yard. So we got fenced off. Why did, why were the dogs in the front yard? I don't know, they were smelly. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna put the dogs in the bathroom. I still don't know where all the plugs are or all the lights are. So but funny. I wanted to show you I guys. I never ran that fast in my life. So this house is not air conditioned, but we're making do in a heat wave. And look at what the temperature is when I came in. So there's no air conditioner in this room at all. It's at 19 degrees Celsius. Like that is perfect. It's so hot still. Like we keep our house colder. I'm only or... sweaty because I had to run across the road into the neighbor's yard. Is that perfect for you to just sit up there? Yeah. So the last room we're gonna bring over is this room. When the computers come, that means that that's when we'll be staying. Uh, Sophie said it best. We should never have brought the couch. We only brought we only brought half of the couch. I can't get it. <laughs> I know. Our couch is so sittable. Wait, no, why does it I look crooked? It looks me. crooked. Anyway, we brought half the couch and everybody's just chilling. To be fair, we haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> to be fair, I can't get up. It's I know, crazy. it's crazy. Anyway, we're never gonna get work done if we all just sit there, so let's get some work done. Aw. So Sophie got this for her room and look what it says. Finny is the best. We're having like, I, I could cry. Yeah, so anyways, we're trying to like represent all of our horses. So that's gonna be a goal for us. Maybe we'll get our photographer friend to come out and take pictures of us here. We need to shoot a new intro for our channel. Before I forget, these are the keys for all the gates. Every single, well most of the paddocks have padlocks on them. Can you believe that? These are the keys for all the gates. Okay, so Sophie's paranoid now because it's hard Once to get- we're in all the fencing, she can go. Yeah, so the thing oh, with Daisy- the down the road in the heat. <laughs> the thing with Daisy is that oh, nice when she's excited, she- Close this door. Yeah, when she's excited, she doesn't come back. Wow, or that's when she sees people, interesting. she doesn't come back. Yeah, or when she sees people, she doesn't come back. All right, so that is gate number one. Gate number two. Leave it open because gate number, because of gate number one. And then there's gate number two. I mean, gate number three. Gate number four. 
Gate number five. Five gates and we've only walked five seconds. I have no idea what this thing is. It's like a cement, I'm coming, slab, and then it's got wood around it. Okay, you guys keep track. This is gate number five. I'm gonna go through it. Gate number six. This part of the paddock, this part of the um, pasture I haven't shown you guys yet. There's a shelter in here. We should count shelters too, because there are a lot. Gate number six, and you guys can tell we're by the road. So this is another pasture, it's actually huge. So I think I said we're on pasture number, or gate number seven. I can't get through there, so we're gonna go try another way. There's another gate right there. This is where the automatic waterer is. <laughs> they're, just like, they're all like, let's go in the barn. Do we have lights in this barn? I wonder if that's the plug for the waterer, and I wonder if that fan is to keep this barn cool. I bet you it is. Oh, and it's got a little lock box. This is technically the barn for horses, and it would be good for us. It just needs some cleaning. And the only reason it would be so good for us is because all of our horses could be down here in stalls. Okay, I've never seen this before. Sophie, come here. <laughs> come look in here. I don't think I can get it open. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for Sam to open that. So I noticed a lot of people saying that this house, all the fences need fixing, or a lot of the fences need fixing. The fences were in really good shape, and one of the reasons that we like this property is that it's so fenced in. Yeah, I don't have to worry about my dog. Yeah, like the dogs. Unless she sees people across the street. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least she'd be not Come out. Right? If we leave a dog behind at this house, we're yeah. in trouble. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to find them. So uh, there's a gate here, and there's a gate uh, on the road, and there's a gate up there. Technically, this is another field. Well, we gotta get some goats. <laughs> we need some goats. So I, I'm trying to be careful what I show at the front of the property so that we don't have issues. Is there a way you can rent goats? Yeah, we need to rent some goats. Is there a way? If anybody has goats and they want to feed them on our property for a few months, please bring uh, we them. We have a lot of grass. Dogs love. Correction, we have a lot of weeds. And grass. Another gate. I wouldn't be able to find them. Whoa. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, there is not enough time in the summer for our horses to eat all this grass. Like Mom, this is a lot of grass. Water? Oh, I was gonna bring... Where's Ellie? Ellie, come on. There's always one dog, there's always one dog that gets on the wrong side of the fence. Come on. <laughs> come on. And it's usually know. Ellie. She can never figure out how to get on the other side of the Where's fence. Ellie? Ellie. So no. I'm gonna get Sam to bull rush this. I'm gonna pick you up because... Down. No, put Jack and Goose out here. But we could put horses out here. So that is the whole section that we haven't showed you guys. So that, well actually we haven't even finished it. I wanted to go and look at the back of this one field. Oh. Before this field gets filled with dog poop, Sophie wants to do a rolling challenge. It's gonna be painful. All right, let's do it. So. Come on. Our dogs are exhausted at this house. We just took a uh, walk around the property and we only covered half of the property, not even the whole property, but the fields. Yeah, we just did a, we just did half of the horse fields. That's it, we just did half of the horse fields. The ducks are loving it though. Like they love it and it's so good because we can come out here and lock 27 gates and then the ducks are safe. 20. So we, I don't More know like where we finish counting the gates. Okay, so then there's another. Uh, there's no gate there but there's going to be and then there's another on that side and then there's another on that back and so another one, two, three, four. Overall there's just too many gates. Five. Your dogs. And then there's one over there, which is six. So another six on this side. Our dogs are of the property. Have this whole place figured out, and they're not going to go through all half of it. Yeah, like it'll be easy <laughs> to lose them here. But you know what? There's lots of gates to close. So She's not going to want to run around after. Yeah, like I can. And there's no electric fences to scare Daisy. Like she hasn't had any scares yet. She's not stressed out. Till you put the horses out here. 
Yeah, it's because they like go horses. up behind her and she doesn't understand. All right, we're gonna look for light switches and see if we can light this barn up. And then I'm gonna try and get rid of all this junk in here and figure out what we could use for our run-in. Cool I want to show them my room too. Okay, well let's let's. I really want to clean this. This is my goal today. Oh, Sophie found it. All right, light this baby up. There's a lot of light bulbs up there. Oh, it's so cute. Where's the other one? Yeah, Only there's half more. Of them are lit. Only half of them are lit. Maybe those are the only ones that. Were we'll have to put Gabby up on a ladder. Look how cute though. Oh, my goal is to clean these stalls. Sam's gonna fix them. He's going to put more, ooh, cobwebs. He's gonna put more slats so that nobody can put a foot or a leg through. Uh, that side, they have mesh. And we could do that too, but I think he wants it to look a little bit nice. And look, I'm gonna have to clean all those cobwebs. But I'm gonna get rid of, look at goop, goat poop. Get, don't eat goat poop. But I wanna rake this. This is my goal for today. I wanna, either I wanna rake it. Look, look at all these rakes I'm finding. These are perfect rakes for this. Or I want to move everything out of here, except for what we're gonna be keeping in here. Oh, there's another gate right there. Okay, wait, you guys. <laughs> In inspiration has struck. Okay, so what if, oh my gosh, this is the best inspiration. Okay, so this is the field that Chino and Willow are gonna be in. What if, because Chino needs a stall, what if, so there's a stall there, what if we fence this, like made this into a stall and then an outdoor door that we could just let Chino out in the morning? Wouldn't that be cool? I was gonna use it, we were gonna use it as like a run-in that he could just come in, but we could even just leave his stall open so he could come in and put like his water and stuff in here. But what if there was actually a stall here and he could just like have an indoor outdoor stall? We have weeks until we have to be out of this place and we're, we plan on taking our time because we have the arena at the back so we can continue to ride in. So he's gonna have lessons and we're gonna be riding. But when we move, um, the horses are gonna have to be on grass all the time. Like except for Chino, there's no option, it's a grass. 24 seven, there's no like arena for them to go in. So we've been slowly, slowly, slowly increasing the time that the horses are on grass. And at the other house, it's scorching hot, like so hot you can't even breathe. Sophie and I were sitting on the back porch, so hot you can't even breathe. And I was worried about the horses, so we came back to check on them. It's actually cold here, like it's cool. There's such a nice cross breeze because of the, because of, because I don't know, just this property always gets like the coolest breeze. Everybody who comes here is like, oh, it's nice and cool here. So I was worried, but they can always go in the shade. There are shady spots all along there underneath the trees and they do go there when they get hot. Anyway, we've been watching them, making sure that everybody's okay. Okay, <laughs> you guys, we're just getting ready to go back to the other, back to our other house for the night. Everybody pees over here. Like, I don't know what has been over here, but every time we come over to this section, they pee, all of them, at the same time. Oh, it's been a scorching day, but we've been doing a lot of work, mostly on the house. Uh, I'll show you what Sam did today before we head back to for the night. Nope. He cut this part that's going to be... Oh, he didn't cut there. I'll cut there. That's okay, going to be gonna Chino go. and Willow's part. <laughs> Sophie's like, I need to cut every, I have to close every gate. Come on. Just this gate. I did some sweeping in the barn. The gate's open. It's a, no, it's not. Yeah, the one down there. Oh, well, well it'll be fine, You're Sophie. My dog. Sophie's obsessed with not losing her dog. Come on. <laughs> uh oh, what did you find? It's not an animal. I hope it's not an animal. They Come on, we're going this way. They, so, they all peed there. So Sam came back down here. I'm going to show you guys. This is going to be where we're going to ride our very first trail. Ollie, come here. And I can't wait. Like, Ruby, we might even drive the horses in one day. Ruby. Just to go on a trail. But honestly, the reason we're not doing anything with our horses right now is because it is a freaking heat wave. Like, 100 degrees, humid, so hot heat Ruby. wave. Come on. Sophie's like really nervous about losing her dog. 
because even though she checks in, she will not check in if she's having too much. And wait, I'm going out there. All right, so Sam's obviously gonna have to come back down here and cut this, this grass again, because it is like high, or because there's a lot of it. <laughs> but it goes way down there. I don't know if you guys can see. And there's like a hill. Anyway, we're gonna walk it one day, not today. <laughs> not till it gets a bit cooler. We're gonna walk it and make sure that it's like, okay. But this is part of our trail for our horses. I love it, it's so private. I love that he came down and cut it already for us. So I don't know if you guys can see it, how good you can see it, but it goes so far back there you can't even see it. Sam said it goes so far. So, that, and I love this. Like, I think this will help Sophie learn to trail ride being able to do it here and like it being private, no cars going by. Like that's another thing that scares her at our house is that there's always cars going by. Okay, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Pictures with our horses back here in the fall. Ah, mosquitoes. He said he got eaten alive. <laughs> oh, anyway, that is it for today's video. Lots to do, lots happening. I apologize that it's all just new, ho new house footage right now, but it's mostly because it's a heat wave. We will be riding again, and maybe like really soon we'll be riding here. Sophie says she's going to the rock field. I don't even know where the rock field is. It's the field with rock. Oh, hi. It's, it's, uh-oh. I'm attacked by these thorn bushes. <laughs> because of the thorn bushes? It, it cut me. Oh, poor baby. It's painful. All right. Oh, Daisy, yeah. lick my arm. <laughs> Hey, that's up. Daisy found a, a 